Hello, good day everyone, this is Tefs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is an LG 43 inch LED TV. Model 43 LF5400. It's not turning on, and no standby light indicator. I will show you how to fix it. If you are interested in electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you came to the right channel, so be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. The TV has no power and no standby light indicator, so let's check the main fuse. The fuse appears to be blown. The fuse blew for a specific reason. This capacitor looks burnt, this may be the reason why the main fuse was blown. Let's unscrew the power board and check for other defective components. The board looks clean and shows no signs of previous repairs. This capacitor is a snubber. It is connected to the terminals of the drain and the source of the power MOSFET. In some cases, if this capacitor burns, some component will also get damaged like the power MOSFET or the PWM driver. I hope that the snubber capacitor will be the only issue. Let's remove the snubber capacitor. The value is 151K, 1 kV. I don't find 151K, 101J is the nearest value I found. A 151K capacitor has a capacitance value of 150 picofarads with a tolerance of plus or minus 10%. 
The 101J capacitor has a capacitance of 100 picofarads and a tolerance of plus or minus 5%. I get this from a power board, same function as a snubber capacitor. This will work. The power MOSFET seems good, not shorted. Power MOSFETs always get shorts, it's very rare that they get open or get leaks. The MOSFET is good, so the PWM driver should also be in good condition. Let's also check the rectifier diode. It's also good not shorted, rectifier diodes just like MOSFETs rarely get open or leak. No more components will be damaged due to the snubber capacitor failure, only the fuse will need to be replaced. Before replacing the fuse, let's solder the 220 ohm 5 watts resistor to the fuse terminals for safer testing. An incandescent bulb is also good for this method. Now the power board is ready for testing. We can measure the voltage at the cathodes of these diodes or at the terminals of these electrolytic capacitors. The voltage is 8.8 .8 volts, it should be about 13 volts. We only measure 8.8 .8 volts because it is in standby mode, or the main board is not yet connected. I think there is no more problem. Remove the resistor and replace a fuse now. I don't have this type of fuse, so let's put a glass fuse with the same rating, and solder beside the old fuse. For me, this is the safest and easiest way to replace the fuse.
Connect the main board and the backlight. We can't measure the terminal of the electrolytic capacitor now, so let's measure the voltage at the cathode of the rectifier diodes. As you can see, the voltage now is 13.2 volts. Let's screw back the power board and see if the TV will work. The TV looks working now. A few moments later. The TV is now working great. It is only with a minor defect. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. You can help this channel by liking and subscribing. Ring the notification bell to keep you up to date. Once again, this is Tefts. See you again next time. Bye for now.